everybody and welcome back to the Chateau. I have had a fantastic few days away in some glorious weather because the beautiful weather is back and I got an opportunity to go sailing for a couple of days and a night around St Marlo which is an hour and a bit away and is just stunning. So one of the things I've always, always said about doing a place up like this is you have to go out and get away from it to really, really enjoy it. And that's what I got to do for the last couple of days. So that was a little snippet of what I got up to for a couple of days. As I said, one of the most important things about a place like this, you might spend your entire life doing a place like this up and then your kids get it or your grandkids get it and they don't want it. And all of that time where you didn't go out and make those memories and enjoy life to the full was spent on something which is then handed down to somebody like me. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't appreciate any of the things that you did here and it's lost forever so I always say get out and make memories don't just work really hard however now I've got to work really hard right okay look at the rose bushes. Now I need to weed that bank a bit, I'm sure. Cut them back and also take some cuttings so we can go further up the bank. But they're really, really spreading out. If you remember when they were planted, they were just little cuttings. I'm so happy they've got a bit of colour. So I've got a bit of help coming to do all those sorts of things. And the main thing that is about to happen because it's about to be party time. This tree is finally going. Obviously, that's why, I mean, I said, apart from the fact that mowers are broken, May is, uh, I tend to try not to cut too much grass. And this year, especially, it's then gone into June because of the bad weather. Grass is down, which means we're able to get around this safely, which means this week, this has got to start going because everything's got to start getting prepared. Because the party is in August, but because of people being away and all sorts of other things, and I want to be prepared, we've really got to be set up by mid-July. So, you know, panic stationers. Now, big, big, big questions on the video about this 
kitchen, the chateau's kitchen. Something repeatedly came up. So I need to explain something because it seems something was very, very, very lost based on the comments. The gym, which was the original kitchen. Now, what came up in the comments a huge amount was why don't you just remove that kitchen because it costs you nothing, move it into here and then you've got a boot room and then you've got a better kitchen until you want to do something with this one, a bigger kitchen, shall I say, um, and it costs you nothing. When this was originally a kitchen, that's where they cooked. That's, they had a range in there. That's where they originally cooked. Water was kind of slopped in and drainage was <laughs> that hole there, which everything was washed down into the moat. And even now, there's like one, two, maybe three plug sockets in here. Why am I explaining this? Well, actually, because it seems like a quite a good idea um, on paper, because it's not really explained that there are just no facilities in here. And I love making sure that people don't think if they go through the time and effort to actually leave a comment and say, hey, what about this? I wanna make sure those people know that I'm not just ignoring them and why their what seems like a great idea can't really work. I mean, I'll use this corner as an example because that's about as much those kitchen cabinets would go into. There's no electrics, there's no plumbing, uh, wastewater or fresh or hot. And of course, even if you just did this section, you'd have to replaster these walls, redecorate it. So just to move that kitchen, which I don't like at all anyway, would no, be nowhere near big enough for this room when it was a proper kitchen. You'd have to spend thousands, especially as <laughs> it's a stone floor, you can't run electrics and pipe work for the sewage outlet, etc. cetera, uh, in here easily. The work involved in putting a kitchen in here is enormous. So it's just not feasible for a very, very long time, certainly until it's actually required because this is a huge family kitchen. I don't have a huge family. It'd be lovely to have the kitchen in here, but it's certainly at the moment, it was a waste. It would be a waste of money, um, which is just not available. And like I said, thank you so much for the comments, but you can't just move that one from next door and bring it in here because it's just not feasible. And do you know what? That's all right. This is big enough for me at the moment. I just don't like it. And the majority of the comments are actually in favor of painting all these cabinets. But uh, we will see because Billy has suggested something else to me, which I'll show in a different video. Because, as I said, this is just a future project at the moment is all about the party. This is what's got to be done before that party. Now I've been doing lots of clearing the house up, weeding, getting small jobs done like handles on things in bathrooms, that sort of thing. Just really clearing the house and getting through small projects. Not interesting to you. But what is about to come because I have now by mid-August, before my birthday, along with, I've got holidays in there as well, got to get the terrace fully done, got to get all the gardens looking fantastic, got to get rid of that tree, got to set up all the party, got to get all of the banks weeded, everything so it actually looks like a chateau, not an abandoned one, got to sort out the dining room, the second kitchen, one of the bedrooms on the top floor for guests because I don't have enough for the amount of people that are staying. My bedroom suite as well because, well, I'm, I need to get that done. So it's going to be full on. Oh yeah, and I've got to finally finish the horse box bar and the stage because I've got to build a cover on the stage. Yeah, do you know what? There's lots going on. I absolutely love all of your comments. We're now up to 56,000 subscribers and that's that's lovely. Thank you so much everyone for the support. Love all your comments. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow when 
the real work begins. Again, see you next time.